Welcome all to the first episode of our Let's Play series for Knights of Honor 2 Sovereign. Can't wait to play this with you over the next few episodes, showing off different features, trying to be a good king, and generally trying to have a great time. I'm sure many experienced Knights of Honor fans will backseat this, especially after the new game comes out. But yeah, we're not trying to be perfect here. So just enjoy and maybe put what you do in the comments. Uh, one awesome thing about this game is every time you play, things are going to be different. The layout of the world is preset based on which of the three eras you select, but the details of the world, like the resources in provinces, are always changing, so you'll never get the same situation. For this series, we're going to start with Aragon, this nice little country here, and we're going to give ourselves the modest task of taking over the Spanish Peninsula. <laughs> no big deal, right? Now, for me, I like to start the King's class being a marshal. It helps you get an army raised quicker, get bigger armies, and find yourself at war quicker. <laughs> All right, let's play. Uh, I'm gonna pause it real quick so we can have a look around at what we have. Uh, we have Zaragoza and Barcelona. Nice little coastal town. Could be good for trade, good for making money. Here we've got some coastal settlements, we've got some villages, we've got castles. Good for making money, people and protection. That's all you need, right? <laughs> uh, a good place to build your armies is somewhere with lots of castles and villages, ideally. You get bonuses to the military buildings, like in barracks, you get bonuses per castle. With population centers, you get bonuses per village. This is something we're gonna be paying a lot more attention to down the road a ways. Let's see, Zaragoza has castles, monasteries, got some culture, religion, some crops. Feed my people. <laughs> cool. First thing though, we should get a merchant. Got to get trade going early so we can get some income coming in to fuel our economy for everything else we want to do. I cannot wait to hear your orders. Just need to make sure he's assigned to governor, gives bonuses to the province based on the class and skills. Only the finest goods will be produced here. Also check that Zaragoza has a governor too. Ah, the king himself. Before we get to housing and barracks, uh, since this episode we want to attack Navarra, uh, we need some money first. Looking at what we want here, I think the market square is going to be a good start. It's going to boost trade, boost income, all that good stuff. And we need that sweet money. Okay. The world at your fingertips. Okay, we got some starting development queued. Uh, let's see if we can get some trade agreements going. Uh, one general rule of thumb, don't trade with people and then go to war with them. It can't always be avoided, but we're gonna try and avoid trading with people in the Spanish Peninsula and try with kingdoms in the Northeast. So people don't see us trade with someone, betray them and then go to war because everyone might not trust us. Uh, in this game, the world remembers and actions have consequences. Make sense? Right, let's try and be friends with the right people. Let's get a trade agreement with these guys. Uh, oh, give some gold to England. Yeah, why not? They're big, a good ally to have. Um, we're definitely going to need it. Uh, uh, I'm not going to bore you with We've all these trade agreements. Our merchants, all sire. right, now let's Where assign our merchant to start profit? actively trading. Oh, oh boy. Uh, remember how I said sometimes you still got to trade with someone you may betray later? Looks like the Almohads are, are our best bet. Oh, probably because they're closer. We'll chance this one and possibly just deal with the consequences later. They'll never know what hit them when we use their money against them in the future. Export but, uh, and imports are my problem. second nature. Very nice. Getting money. Leveling up your knights. Uh, sometimes it's best to level up your I'm king sure first. This deal you spend books to level up your knights, and for normal knights, you only go up one level. However, you level up your king, you Too go all much. the way to level three because he's your king. He's awesome. Uh, get him first, it'll give you big advantages at the beginning. Usually with the king as a marshal, I try to keep him very war-focused, but since we need money right now, let's start with bargain. It's a useful skill for governor bonuses, and it reduces the cost of hiring other knights, which we're definitely going to be bored. doing soon. No more reading. Time to fight. Can I get another one right now? Uh, no. Uh, I need some more books. All right. So let's look back at our packs and agreements. I want to make sure that we don't have anything go wrong with this deal, since Navarra is pretty much what we're going to focus on attacking. It's only got one province, so it's the easiest one to take over. <laughs> 
Yeah. Oh, apparently we're a threat to you already. Cool. All right, uh, let's try and improve our relationship with England. Uh, we're going to need some allies, especially since they have a province right on the other side of Navarra. Let's hire a diplomat on the cheap because of that sweet king skill. Uh, that way we can improve relations and just make I'll friends make with everybody. Famous, my lord. But except the ones we're going to be taking over right away. There are a bunch of kingdoms out there in the world. The game is big. Uh, but for us, well, actually, let's start with Castile, since they're the number one threat. Minimize the chance they start a war before we're ready. Uh, and then I when we go to war way. with Navarra, we'll be a little safer from being a flanked. We don't need two arrived. wars right at the start. Oh, speaking of which, <laughs> yeah, not doing war right now, guys. We Let's see if allies. we can get a defensive pact going against Navarra, in case they attack us first. Yeah, that would be nice. Your orders hm. will be carried out to perfection. Let's see if England will join us as well. Very nice. England's in a defensive pact with us too. So, just going to ask everyone we can to join the defensive pact, make it a dangerous deterrent. This way, Navarra won't want to attack us uh, when we're not ready, because it'll go very badly for them. We got our defensive packs. Yes. Let's see. Still need to get a little more gold before finished, we can call to sir. arms. Ah, as if on cue, the market square is done. More income. People are happy. Yeah. It's a good start in Barcelona. Now, let's call our king to arms. Uh, do we need to do Barcelona or Zaragoza? Uh, kind of a coin flip. Uh, let's do Saddle Zaragoza. Yes. It's Burn right next to Pamplona, time. which is going to be our next target. All right, now we've called to arms, we can raise an army. Let's see. What's going on here? What was that, France? Ooh, they seem to be on a little pillaging spree in the area. <laughs> just, just mosey around me. God, they've got a big army already. Uh, I wonder if that's something we could take advantage of. Uh, I think. I think I should attack. If we can attack Pamplona while they're getting pillaged, that would be great. All right, peasants. Peasant army time. Uh, let's make sure. Uh, we get France on our side, offer some support in the war, which is more positive than just declaring war directly out of nowhere, for sure. A defensive pact of ours is no more. Hey, all right, let's do some work. An ally has joined us in war. Victory is near. Oh, victory is already near, eh? Okay, let's check out our peasants. Uh, I think we're going to need a few more peasants before we can go after them. This is a risky expedition. Yeah, but hey, what's life without a little risk? Uh, let's get another skill for the king. Rule with an iron fist should help settle the citizens once we take over Pamplona. That makes stuff useful. a little bit easier, especially later. Our peasantry's opinion has increased. Uh, also going to give us a nice fat payday for our pillaging. You don't want to pillage without getting paid. All right, we can't wait anymore. Attack, peasant army! Onward to Pamplona! On I'll orders. go this way. Uh, you know, the scenic route. Our diplomat has strengthened our bond with another uh, kingdom. On the left, you'll see some very pleasant Sire, medieval pillaging. Our enemies have gained a new ally. Ten quid says this is Castile. Prepare the siege uh, equipment. Figure they were going to come in and back them up. All right, uh, let's knock out the siege before anyone comes. Yeah, Castile, of course. Uh, damn you! Uh, let's get Stand sieging. No All right, not too bad. We've got more people, which is uh, it's kind of how you want to start a siege. Uh, morale is up and looking good. Flames are flying. Uh, here you can see we've got Castile and Navarra and us in France who are definitely winning. And oh, oh, we've got reinforcements coming in and not for Enemy us. troops are attempting to break our siege. Oh, come off it. Oh, man. Oh, this is not a good way to go. Crap. Uh, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? <laughs> Uh, let us see if we can get some help from outside forces, Political just in case we lose here. Yeah, what is France doing? Oh, just hanging out. Oh, no, no, they've got troops in. All right. Uh, England, uh, do you guys want to attack somebody with us? 
No, oh, of course not. Just sit back and relax. All right, uh, let's see who else we can get to try and attack. Uh, nope, uh, no one else is going to help us. <laughs> now we're on the other side of denying war requests. Uh, karma. Uh, how is France doing over here? Are they done? Well, they're pillaging. Uh, should we retreat? Uh, never, never retreat. They're almost done, nice. Oh, come on. Hurry your horses. Uh, don't hold your horses, hurry them. Fast forward. Come on. Save us. God. Yes. Ah, <sighs> sweet relief. To aid in our battle. Winning decisively. Is there anything better than winning decisively? The power of friendship and <laughs> luck. Uh, lots of luck. Uh, this is how I want to see a siege go. Uh, now, by the way, we could have played the siege out in a RTS battle. But a we'll save that for a future arrived. let's play. Yeah, get out of here to lose. Uh, where were we? Where were we? Uh, I think we're going to need to hire a cleric. Somebody help out uh, settle everyone after we take over Navarra, which winning decisively once again. Uh, yeah, we're going to need some help settling the population. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get one of these. Let's play. Cleric Nicholas. We have won a war. Yeah, Recaptured just won the war. <laughs> we gained favor ah, with that our nobility. Feels good. Our army uh, thank you of for our the help, actions. France. Siege one. Look at that. Uh, now we just have to integrate them. Happy nobility. Of course, we've just won a war. Who's not happy? Everybody's happy. Army. Yep. Winning a war makes them happy, of course. Uh, I can't adopt the, the population yet the with that cleric. We need more books. Uh, you're always going to need more, more, more. Yeah, uh, real quick, when you take over a province, it starts with a state of disorder where you can't develop it, get benefits, etc. cetera. Uh, that's the red lines. Uh, there are a few ways you can bring them into your kingdom. Clerics can try to do it peacefully with religion, but we are going to have to wait a bit for that. Let's check out our chances of establishing order with our marshal real quick and check on stability. Oof, well, not very stable. Could be better, but workable. It's workable. Uh, all right, 77%. That's good, right? Yeah, that iron fist skill is really coming into play. I feel pretty good. Yeah, let's do it. Right away. Crushing disorder. What did you do today? I crushed some disorder. Uh, let's see if we can get a new defensive pack going because we are not in a great place. Sometimes if diplomacy tries to attack. is the only way. Uh, Castile is definitely our biggest worry. Let's make a defensive pact against them because it's who we are probably yes, going to fight I love next. To serve. Yeah, let's improve some relations with Leon since we don't want them coming after us when we're up against Castile. Their royalties will adore me. A new rebellion Are you kidding me? Lands, the rebellions? Has proved to be tough. Uh, I guess not 77% after all Our with that established order. Has worsened. Yeah, of course, your opinion has decreased. My own opinion's decreased. I had that in the bag. <sighs> all right, uh, I guess crushing disorder wasn't on the menu today. Uh, oh, this rebellion's really going to start wreaking some havoc. Our armies will bring justice. Our troops need to rest and replenish. Let's get the troops out of there for now and re-up. Real quick, how pretty is this game? Just love it! Oh! My blade is sharp. We're marching. A new construction has been finished, oh, my lord. Oh, there's a chase going on. Oh, gonna make it. Gonna make it. Oh... Yeah, safe in the city. Oh, it looks like they're changing their mind. I die for my kingdom, and but I going after us. Settlement, you muppet. Rebels have laid their filthy hands on our settlement. Oh, what is this? The Middle Ages? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, all right. Um, we need some books for our clerics. We can try to establish order next time around. Uh, we're going to build a church. No choice. Got to invest in the long term. I've... Oh. 
Hostile They've already plundered. Have plundered our settlement. I have been plundered! They're going to go after another settlement. Rebels are plundering uh, our settlement. I do not have enough people yet. All right, let's go back to Barcelona and refill our army a bit while we're waiting for more peasants to grow, I guess. <laughs> uh, 2,580. Uh, we've still got a little bit more, but let's heal these guys back up and we'll go back to Zaragoza. Um, oh, crap, we're out of food too. Yeah, this is a good strategy. First things first, let's go back and stop these guys. Let us restock and rest. Sire, really? Another settlement? To improve our relations. One of our settlements has been They're pillaged. besieging. Thieves are besieging us. Let's go. All I right. Uh, fast forward a little bit. Let's drive off the invaders. Reinforcements? Reinforce oh, weren't ready for that counterattack, were you? Sire, we win. <laughs> Look at that. Ability. Some Clona is a rebel ours. army has been defeated. One We've rebellion down, one of our take over the kingdom. That's a good day. Bish bash bosh. Look at that. War is coming. Home sweet home. Pamplona, that is beautiful. Good job. Look at that. Oh, look how big we are. The world at your fingers. Look at that little country getting bigger. All right, now for the rest of the peninsula. You'll have to tune in for the rest next time. We'll see if our plans to take over the Spanish Peninsula go as we hoped, or if some factors come in and skew our goals in new and fun ways. Hope you've enjoyed this first chapter and the adventures of Aragon. Uh, leave in the comments things you may want to see as the series progresses. Until next time, happy sovereigning.